Hello everyone. Welcome back to another exciting After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn to create this. So, let's get started. Open Adobe After Effects, then create a new composition. Name it Lens Stroke Text Animation. Set the resolution to 1920 by 1080 pixels, the frame rate to 30 frames per second, and the duration to 10 seconds. Select the Type tool from the toolbar. Click anywhere on the screen and type anything you want. Afterward, select the text layer. Center the anchor point, and then align the text to the center. Right click on the text layer, go to create, and select create masks from text. This action will generate a separate layer outlining the text as a mask. If you can't see the masks, simply toggle the visibility of the mask layer. For now, let's hide the masks. Keep the text outline layer selected and go to effects and presets. Search for and apply the stroke effect, which is located under generate. Change the paint style to reveal original image. Select all masks. Uncheck stroke sequentially. Increase the brush size to 5. And set the brush hardness to 100%. Decrease the end value to 0%. Then add a keyframe. Move the time cursor to 5 seconds on the timeline and change the end value back to 100%. Let me trim the work area to 7 seconds. Let's preview the animation. Cool. It looks good to me. Now, it's time to add the lens flares. I have already created two lens flare footages with the help of the optical flare plugin. I will share them with you along with the project file. Let me import the lens flare footage. Drag and drop the lens footage just above the text outline layer. Select the text outline layer and press the M key to reveal all masks. As you can see, we have a separate mask for each letter. However, we have two masks for the letters P and A. So, we need to duplicate our lens footage six more times. Select the lens footage layer and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate it six more times. Let's hide the lens footages for a while. Select the text outline layer and press M to reveal all masks. Choose the mask path of the P letter, and press Ctrl plus C to copy it. Select the visible lens footage layer, and press P to open position properties. Select the position and press Ctrl plus V to paste the mask path of the P letter. Move your time cursor to 5 seconds, then hold the Alt key on the keyboard, and drag the last keyframe to 5 seconds. Let's see the preview. Amazing! The first flare is now following the first letter's mask path. Once again, select the second mask path of the P letter and copy it. Open the position properties, turn on the visibility of the second lens footage, select the position, and paste the mask path. Move your time cursor to 5 seconds, then hold the Alt key on the keyboard, and drag the last keyframe to 5 seconds. Once again, copy the mask path of the E letter. Then open the position properties of the third lens footage. Ensure your time cursor is at the first frame, then press Ctrl plus V to paste the mask path. Move your time cursor to 5 seconds, then hold the Alt key on the keyboard, and drag the last keyframe to 5 seconds. Let me do it faster. Let's preview it. Cool. It looks good to me, but I want to hide the lens at the beginning and the end. So, select the first lens footage layer. Press the S key on the keyboard to open the scale properties. Add a keyframe. 
change the scale to 0%. Go forward by 10 frames. Then change the scale back to 100%. Move your time cursor to 4.20 seconds. Click here to add a keyframe with the same value. Move forward to 5 seconds. Change the scale value back to 0%. Select all keyframes and copy them. Move your time cursor to the first frame. Select the remaining lens footage layers. Then press Ctrl plus V to paste the scale keyframes. Let's preview it. Fantastic. It's exactly what I had in mind. Let me show you how I change the lens colors and lens flare. Select the first lens footage layer. Go to effects and presets. Search and apply the hue and saturation effect on it. Enable colorize. Change the colorize saturation value to 100. Adjust the colorize lightness value to negative 50, or you can leave it at 0. Let's preview it again. Cool. I like the way it looks. The first lens color is changed. Now, we need to copy the style and paste it on the remaining lens footage layers. Let me change the color of each lens flare, but you are free to choose your desired colors. Let's review what we have created so far. Impressive. I'm really pleased with the outcome. Let me show you how to change the lens flare. Go to the projects tab. Right click on the lens flare 1 footage. Go to replace footage. Then choose file. Now, select the second lens flare footage. Let's preview it. Cool. It looks amazing to me. Now, I am going to make some adjustments to the original text layer. Move your time cursor to 5 seconds. Unhide the original text layer. Press T to open the opacity properties. Add a keyframe and change the opacity to 0%. Move your time cursor to 6 seconds. Then change the opacity back to 100%. Let's see the final output. Amazing. I am happy with the results. Our lens stroke text animation is completed. I will share the project file with you. You can easily download everything from my website for free. Simply visit my website to access the project files and resources used in this tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial, explore my other videos for more exciting content. Show your support by liking, subscribing, and sharing your thoughts in the comments. If you gained new knowledge, consider supporting the channel. Thanks for watching and good luck. See you in the next tutorial.